This is the skins market. It's been doing pretty well recently, a little bit too well. The price of everything is going up and unlike previous bubbles, this time the community is infected with a sense of righteous arrogance which is kind of justified. The game is in a really really good spot and as far as the skin market goes, it seems like nothing could possibly go wrong. So naturally, I'm going to be making a video about why it just might. And what we're going to be looking at is something really really subtle, something that a lot of people probably wouldn't think about and something that is also easily possible. Is it likely? Well, you'll get to judge that for yourself, but in any case, I should explain what I'm even talking about. So at the moment, it is pretty well known that CSGO is running out of cases, supply is low, prices are high. Anomaly conveniently released a video while I was working on this that talked about it, so I don't feel the need to explain it too much, but the point is, CSGO players are currently opening cases way faster than they're dropping, and they're getting expensive as a result. Now, this has been a long time coming. I basically predicted it three weeks ago, and a year ago, and two years ago. In fact, I've been talking about it for a while actually, although this is a lot crazier than anything I was expecting. And one of the reasons it's been so predictable is a series of changes Valve has made going all the way back to 2016. You see, Valve have gradually been reducing the rate that cases drop in CSGO for ages. Once upon a time, you could get up to three drops a week. These days, it can be a struggle to even get one. Once upon a time, non-prime accounts could get older discontinued cases. These days, only prime accounts can get drops at all. And while cases have been getting rarer, demand for them has been getting higher, so much so that case farmers are now literally borrowing people's accounts to try and get extra drops. And when you crunch the numbers, assuming things stay the same, it is very obvious prices are only going in one direction, up. But are things actually going to stay the same? Valve has tinkered with drop rates before. What's stopping them from doing it again? Valve make $2.49 every time you open a case. But if you're spending a dollar to open that case, rather than like three cents like you would have in the past, well, that's one dollar gone that you could have spent buying keys instead. At a very basic level, Valve benefit from cases being cheap, so they have an incentive to get case prices down. In theory, at least, they would make more money that way. But are they likely to try and force down the price of cases? The mechanics behind case drops aren't public and are poorly understood. Some people I've spoken to think they might have already increased the drop rate, which if they have, it's definitely not helping, and no one knows for sure precisely what's going on. And it's worth considering Valve may also have some incentives not to change things as well. Firstly, they're already making $100 million from cases a month. Cases are the goose that laid the golden egg, and if they're making you $100 million a month, you have a pretty big incentive not to change them. Secondly, at a more fundamental level, the big thing that's driving these case unboxing is the fact that skin prices are so high. Reduce the price of cases, and you'll likely make skins cheaper, which in turn would reduce the incentive to open cases, so the end result may be kind of self-defeating. However, if the number of cases being opened does fall off at some point, changing the system might be a bit more tempting to Valve, and if Valve do substantially increase the supply of cases, this will affect the price of most cases out there. Some definitely a lot more than others, the actively dropping ones will be the hardest hit, but it will affect most of them, and it will have flow-on effects to the rest of the market, and while I don't regard this as some massive imminent threat, if you are stockpiling cases, especially actively dropping ones, this is a possibility you should be thinking about. Valve have tinkered with the system before, and they almost certainly will again. And while I do think they see the value in having expensive cases in the game, I mean, they must, they would have flooded the market with cases by this point, this is something that is a possibility in the future. And it's always worth keeping in mind that if you're investing in skins, Valve might just decide to change things. 